pixels.coo Welcome to you. This explainer is one of our immersive technology standalone explainers. In this explainer, we'll use a free ThingLink account to upload 360 degree images relating to a hotel building project. We'll use these images to create a virtual 360 degree tour for our clients, which will look a bit like this. ThingLink is one of the most popular online tools for creating tours using 360 degree images, videos, and even 3D objects. The basic account is free, but as we'll see, the sharing options are limited when you're only using the free account. This example museum tour shows how users can navigate from one room to the next and click on tags for more information. These tags can include text, images and embedded videos. I've logged into my ThingLink account. I'll click on content at the top left. This ThingLink interface does get updated from time to time, so your screen may look slightly different. I'll tap on Create and select 360 image or virtual tour. Now I can drag and drop my 360 degree images from my computer that I'll need for my tour. You're welcome to use these images if you like. For more information, see the website. These are images of building work in progress for a new hotel. I'm going to use images of the reception area, bar area, sauna, and of course we'll need showers and toilets. Our tour will start in the reception area, so let's open the reception image. ThingLink recognises this as a 360 image and it slowly rotates by default. Let's have a look at the other images before we start building the tour. Here's what will be the bar area, the sauna and the showers. So we'll need to provide a way for our viewers to move from one location to the next. Let's start in the reception area. I'll click on edit at the top right to edit the image. Add tag, create tour. I'll change the icon to an arrow to suggest we're moving from one place to another. Next, we need to select scene. This is the destination image for when the arrow is clicked and select the bar image. That's fine for now. I'll click done and done again. As you can see, when our viewer clicks the arrow tag, they move to the next area. If our viewer ever gets lost, they can tap the home icon here to return to reception. I'll repeat the same process to edit the bar image and add an arrow tag to take our viewer through to the sauna area. Notice you can drag a tag to place it precisely and again, test this works correctly. Well, Back in the reception area, let's add a different type of tag. This time I'm going to add text and media to tell our visitors more about our plans for this area. I'll add a title and paste in a description. I'll upload this reception desk image from my computer to show how the finished area will look. This is a regular flat image and change the icon to be an information icon. Now our viewers can tap here to see how awesome our hotel reception area is going to look. Be sure to look at the other tag options available. For example, you can link directly to YouTube or Vimeo videos. Finally, for now, let's look at the tour settings here. For example, I can switch off the default pulsing icon effect. Also, under advanced settings, you'll find a really useful option to set the initial rotation for a 360 degree image. This can be very useful to orientate your viewer to the best or most interesting part of a space when they arrive at a new location. And now let's see what options I have for sharing my online tour with the world. I'll click on share. Notice most options are off limits, except for the link option. 
I'll copy the link and paste it into a new browser window to test it. On my free accounts, I can share my tour, but there's significant branding as you might expect. At least our viewers can check out our creation. That's it for this introduction to creating virtual 360 degree tours using ThingLink. Depending on the account type you choose, you can go on to include 360 degree videos and 3D objects, and there are lots of additional features besides. As you can see, ThingLink has almost too many paid plans to select from, so do your research before signing up for a paid account. Don't forget to check out our other standalone immersive media explainers. Pixels.cool